Fuzzy and Nuts are on a trip through time, and along the way are teaching us about the greatest predators to have ever lived, the worst jobs in history, and the most terrible wars ever waged. But today our furry time travelers are coming face to face with some of the largest beasts to have ever walked the face of the earth. Possibly the largest dinosaur to ever walk the earth, Argentinosaurus towered over the other dinosaurs at a whopping 50 feet tall while measuring 75 feet from head to tail and weighing in at 80 tons. This lumbering goliath was all but immune to predators, even from the fearsome Gigantosaur, one of the largest meat eaters to ever evolve. It's a good thing Argentinosaurus was so big and powerful too, because with a maximum top speed of 5 miles per hour, it wasn't going anywhere fast. But even at those low speeds, if a herd of giant Argentinosaurus were spooked, they would have absolutely decimated the landscape. Living in the middle Cretaceous, Argentinosaurus laid eggs that measured a whopping foot in diameter and were so big, it's thought they pushed the absolute physical limits of how big an egg could be without collapsing in on itself. This titan of a dinosaur may have been all but immune from predators, but if there was one predator that might have a chance of taking on an Argentinosaurus, it would have been living at our next destination. Living 100 million years ago but on a different continent than Argentinosaurus, Spinosaurus was the largest carnivore ever discovered. Standing 14 feet tall and up to 59 feet long, Spinosaurus would have to be a terrifying beast to stumble into. Luckily for most other dinosaurs though, Spinosaurus was primarily a fish eater, having hollow teeth up to 8 inches long, similar to a crocodile's, and an elongated snout with nasal holes at the top of the jaw. This let Spinosaurus slowly cruise the ancient rivers and swamps of North Africa, feeding on fish such as the car-sized Oncopristus. Despite being primarily a fish eater though, it's thought that Spinosaurus also scavenged the kills of other carnivores, as its bite was too weak to kill big dinosaurs on its own. Armed with 5 foot long arms, each ending in 3 8 inch claws, what Spinosaurus lacked in bite it made up for in savage slashing power. Perhaps the most iconic feature of the Spinosaurus was its huge sail of which scientists remain completely at odds about its true purpose, some claiming it was to help regulate its body temperature, and others that it was merely for display to attract mates and intimidate rivals. If indeed used for mating purposes such as the display feathers of a male peacock, it's possible that male Spinosaurus had very brightly colored sails versus females, though the truth is sadly lost to time. Splitting off from other whale species around 1 million years ago, blue whales are the largest animal we have ever known to exist, measuring up to 105 feet in length and weighing up to an incredible 200 tons. Blue whales are not just the largest animal ever, but also the largest carnivore, though ironically they feed on the tiniest creatures in the ocean, krill. Taking in giant mouthfuls of water, a blue whale then uses its car-sized tongue to force the water past the fingernail-like material called baleen, which lines its upper jaws. This sieves out all the thousands of krill that are left behind and quickly swallowed. Blue whales tend to be solitary creatures and they were especially lonely in the early 1900s when they were hunted to almost extinction. Despite intense hunting though, blue whales numbers are recovering, but because of their extremely long age, up to 110 years, blue whales are slow to reproduce and their population is today estimated at around 20,000 individuals, a far cry from the 300,000 plus that swarmed the ocean before whaling. Despite being the world's largest animal, this titan of the sea has been made vulnerable to extinction because of man's actions, but in the future, what might a world that man shapes look like?